So this is a big warning. What I'm about to show you is something you should only do if you have mastered the ring thing foundation and are really have already performed the finger jump because there's a little thing you can do if you're really good at the angles at, at finding that horizon line where you can make the ring jump from here to here just right out in the open but you have to be very well acquainted, acquainted with knowing this horizon line instinctively because if you are in this position if they see this knuckle at all the effect is ruined so you can show the ring here you could jump to here and back and it's just this nice little jump I don't use it a lot but there have been times where in in the right moment in a manipulation sequence where the ring is jumping all, all over the place like a flurious sequence with a ring this might be a nice little thing to throw in there jumps from the second to the first to the second and you have to make sure you get up here in that horizon line you almost want to get into that same position as you were in for the foundation ring thing this same position back and forth like that and there's a little bit of a jolt in this, you know, the, the shaking. It's almost like I want to toss, the, it's like I'm acting as if I'm tossing the ring back to this first finger and back. So that's the thing that makes it work is that it's almost like I'm flicking that ring back and then back. So it's, you, I mean, you got to be really good at keeping that horizon line. You got to really know your angles on this one. Not easy. That's a great effect. So ignore this if you haven't been well acquainted with ring thing. Uh, if not, then, uh, then uh, only do this uh, after you practice it a lot and you totally understand that concept of the horizon line.